All right, boys. Yes, sir. Welcome back to another video here today. I got some very, very important things that uh, I guess it's like your last chance to do. And it's things that if you don't do right now, you're practically going to regret it in the long run. So I have a lot of info for today's video. Be ready for it. Here she comes, Sticks. Once again, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We've hit 12.8K on the channel. So once again, thank you so much. It's nice to meet you. We're back on our road to 13K. So we'll see how long it takes to crack it. It's actually, uh, it's, been, it's been a grind. So thank you once again for all the support on the channel. It really does mean a lot to me. On this video, if you do find it helpful, let's go for a solid 399 likes. Let's see if we can crack it. If you haven't already left a like, consider doing so. <laughs> Also, by the way, I will be streaming on Twitch really soon. We're going to be doing live streams daily uh, or every other day soon. So if you would like to tune into them, you can follow my Twitch. At this point, I have no idea what I'm going to stream. If it's Grand Cross, Warzone, some other fun things that I play. If you would like to tune into them, it's just going to be like, a, I guess, a vibe session. If you would like to join up, Twitch. Link in the description. And also, I'm streaming my Purgatory Bond Summons on Tuesday, Monday. So if you want to join in for that too, it's going to be here live on YT. With all of that out of the way, let's jump into this and let's talk about everything we got here today. So first of all, the current event that we have running is in fact the gold event. Right now, you should be farming the gold dungeon while watching this video, right? You should have your laptop, your phone or whatever running on the gold dungeon. If you're watching this video while doing that, uh, that's crazy, man. That means you went out of the gold dungeon to watch this. What are you doing? I'm kidding. But again, what you should be doing is farming the gold dungeon right now, the highest stage. I think everybody knows that. There are a lot of new players on my channel here, so I'm hoping that, you know, I can at least clue you in on what happens here. But again, all you got to do is farm the stage. You need a good team. Whatever team you use will work for this. But again, with this, you guys can go over here and with these auto clear tickets, right? This is what I highly recommend you do today. Spend all of your auto clear tickets. Right now, Jazzy has 943. I will expect, I'm, dude, I'm going to make Jazzy do it or I'm going to do it for him right now. Uh, I want him and I want everyone else to spend as many auto clear tickets as you want on this entire thing. Just leave a few hundred, like I would say 100 to 200 uh, remaining. Hopefully a lot of you guys have them because with patrols, they give you so many. And then with those patrol events that we had like for two weeks during the Eskinor thing and then for a week during the uh, Merlin thing, you were able to acquire at least 300 to 400 during that time period. So I'm thinking most of you should have a ton of them if you did save them up. If you didn't save them up, you'll, you'll be down bad right now. But again, whatever you have, Highly recommend you spend them during this event as much as you can. Go as much gold in. You might be asking, Gogo, -Go, why Why do I need gold right now? Why are you hyping this event up so much? Because we have the Gear Gacha on raid up really soon. When that happens, which is again two weeks away, on the Gear Gacha, it's right now on 4%. It, when the raid up occurs, it's on 8%. When it's on 8%, you have a chance of pulling this, this, and then a ton of SSR gear, which you're going to go and practically salvage with DN that will turn into more stones. With those stones, you'll use those stones to go and rank up the, you know, the regular gear that you have. And when you rank up that regular gear to, you know, five star, when you do that, you get a gem. That's again, for people that don't know how to do it, just go to your gear, rank it up to five. Once you rank it up to five, boom, it'll say you claimed the gem, get that gem, and then you're done. With this event, you can increase box CC. You can increase everything, get hammers, get anvils. It is the best event in the game, one of my favorite ones, and I highly recommend you use this final day of the weekend that you have stamina weekend to go and grind out everything you can. Usually there aren't that many events that you can go and spend your auto quit tickets on, but just take care of them. Also, every single day, if you do the patrols properly, if you do them all right, and you progress through story and you get to this point in the story, you're able to clean them and you get about 10 per day. So let's say in a week, you're practically getting 70. If you were farming and you know saving these up and doing patrols daily, you'd have at least 900 around where Jazzy's at. I'm currently at 1,065. So me and him are just a little bit off from each other. I have been saving since when? Since uh, the last catastrophe event. So it's been a while. And I, at that point, I still had like 200 left, 300 left. So in that much time, no, I had way more than that. I don't know exactly how much I had, but I have a ton of these. I've been saving them and I hope you've been saving them too. If you have, you're going to have fun with this event and you can probably save up a lot from it. Next up, we have this running right now, which a lot of you guys forget about. It's the entire village donation event. Make sure you guys head over to the villages and donate as much as you can. And when you donate and when you take care of the death matches, you'll get that discount at the villages. So going over here, you go over to this guy, you click the buff event. You can then go and donate to go and claim the SSR pendant. Jazzy's a sweat, so he's already done it. You already know. Then if you go over here, we will have that entire village discount. If you do death matches, you'll get a discount too there. You can then go and buy things. With this event, you guys can go buy food if you need it for attack food. You can buy this stuff. You can buy the awakening materials, which I know a lot of you guys need, given Bond is about to drop and a ton of units on this banner that a lot of you will not have. 
everything kind of works hand in hand get the gold get it on the gear gotcha spend the gold over here when you spend the gold over here you get a village discount you can then go buy awakening materials chalices all that stuff there are so many things you guys can do all over the place just make sure you are farming these events right now and when bond drops we're gonna have so many other events to farm use these properly so you guys can gain up all of your materials stuff like that so you are ready for bond when he does drop over here global in what two days for anyone wondering as well tower of disaster will be leaving in two days make sure you guys finish this up jazzy has a few floors left then he will be done with it there are so many materials on this if you skip this you are literally tripping fam there's like this is one of the best events of the game for materials so again please do that right now a quick tip for the hawk and oslo picnic event if you head over to the shop you get 24 of the picnic baskets if you head over to uh, the boss battle area you get 40 with that being said what you can do is if you're a very unlucky person again this is if you're unlucky you can click each one of them one time right it'll cost you 33 if you click one time for each one of them technically speaking you can't lose because hawk will have to pick one of them ones you picked because you've picked every single one you get about 64 from grinding and you get five a day from the login thing on the top right so again you can take care of this it'll guarantee you a score of 200 click each one of them or if you really think you're feeling lucky you can go and do the regular way this is just a way to try and uh, hopefully save a few of you uh, I think Jazzy's almost done with this practically speaking yeah he's almost done with it so he will be fine he can use this method and just finish this up so yeah if that helps hopefully try it if it doesn't good luck on getting the materials you have two days left practically today and tomorrow have fun next up these costumes will be leaving and i have no idea when they will return it'll be a while before they return i will say at least six months okay so if you would like them please go and purchase them now they will not return for a while and they're currently for gems i yo i thought i bought them for a second this is jazzy's account yeah jazzy hasn't bought them yet i recommend which ones to buy definitely goddess elizabeth he is going to buy uh ludo because he has ludo i'm buying sariel because i have sariel again he has all three of them lucky uh, i don't have ludo yet i'm just blessed in that entire luck because yeah so i'm buying sariel's i'm buying elizabeth's full costume set i think jazzy's going to buy these two i don't know if he's buying sariel i didn't ask him tomorrow's the last day to buy them so if you want them you got to check this out asap also this event is leaving if you care about it go and do it i hate ghost like events but it's still here so if you want it have fun also by the way these gems will be leaving in two days so make sure you guys go and claim them as well just in case you haven't already or if you have an alt account that's just sitting there go and get the gems it's 60 gems on an alt and there's some you know good materials on the side so again take care of that i did claim it on all of my alt accounts because dude i am stacked just saying i got the 300 gems from stranger on my alt accounts i got the 60 gems here and then we're gonna get 100 for riding rock and then there was another 30 i think we got randomly thrust something we have the 10 gems from esquinar i have so many gems on those accounts now that is not even funny but there you go hopefully this helped you out make sure you spend up your auto clear tickets on the current event so you can save them for the gear gotcha make sure you guys go and buy the costumes if you wanted finish tower of disaster finish up this hawk and Oslo event go and donate to the village shops and then if you need any awakening materials this is your time to grind also currently if you head over here to this boss guy thing that's really easy you've taken care of your challenge clears you will have a full awakening token which i recommend you save for bond if you are summoning for him and all these materials on the side and that you know amazing merlin costume but yeah if you haven't taken care of this you will be able to get it if you start today you might not be able to if you did two uh runs yesterday and then five today five tomorrow you'll be able to make it to merlin so yeah with that being said again there you go that's been everything i have for you guys to go and complete have fun with it make sure you guys take care of all of it peace out everyone enjoy the rest of the day and i'll catch you guys in the next one later